dancers. Welcome to Miami. Whatever comes to my mind at that moment. What's going on guys? I, I've been in so many restaurants lately and when I go shopping, whether a department store, um, any retail outlet, I ask so many people, how's your day going? And they look at me and they're, most of the time I'd say 70, 80% of the time, they go, oh man, I'm almost off. They look at their watch, they're, they're, they're not happy to be there. And so yesterday, maybe two, three days ago, I was at a pizza place and I asked the lady behind the counter, how you doing? And I smiled. She goes, ah, not very good. And I looked back at her and I said, do you want to make more money or less money? She said more. And then I said, would you hire somebody that didn't like their job? She looks at me and she looks down. I go, if you like your job, you're probably gonna get more job offers. If you enjoy your life, more people that enjoy their life are gonna to wanna to hire you. She was a little bit young, she's probably in her early 20s. And she looked at me and she smiled. And so it's interesting to be able to see how many kids today or how many adults don't like what they do. If you choose not to like what you do, that's fine but don't expect a different result in your life. Don't expect somebody that's amazing to come into your life. Don't expect to have good friends to care for you if you don't care for yourself. You get who you are and you get where you put time into. People have asked me before, how do you, how'd you train for MMA? How'd you train for WWE? How'd you get results? How'd you get shredded You know when you want to get shredded? I said, it's time and effort. You put time into something, you commit, you follow through, you get results. Most people don't base their life on results, they base their life on their feelings and their circumstances and then they flow. They're not really out there committed to something, they're out there to just drift. So you're gonna be a part of the drift and like your job, not like your job, your choice, but I challenge you to do one thing. Create some belief and emotional intelligence to create different results. Think about stuff Maybe let yourself become a little bit vulnerable to yourself. And men out there, we're told to suck it up, be tough and don't cry. At the end of the day, if you broke your leg today, you'd go to the hospital. But if something emotionally, spiritually, mentally happens to you, you'd probably put a cap on it. You'd do something to put it down inside you so you didn't feel it. The feeling's not bad. The feelings come from past experiences and to be able to create results, you get to step up become a little bit vulnerable and say, you know what, I don't know every answer. I don't know how to do this. And go get yourself a coach. Go get yourself a mentor. Go get yourself somebody in your life that's gonna add value to your life, that's gonna ask you what you want. Not tell you necessarily what to do and what to believe, but help you create your own passion, your own beliefs, your own results in your life so that you can get what you want. I live in America and this is a country that gives us every opportunity. The resourcefulness is up to you. The resources are here. If you're in another country and you're listening to this, at the end of the day, think about how you can put deals together. If you don't have a computer at your house, figure out how you can get one. Trade your time, your energy, your talents for something to get something. If you have any comments, ideas, how you became successful, how you did it, Leave it below. I appreciate you guys. Have a blessed day.